Okay, so uh, still احنا في ال supervised learning um, بس لأنه الفيديو طول and I dislike to make long videos يعني I didn't I started to despise that anyways so خلنا نشوف what is uh, overfitting ف overfitting is a concept in machine learning and uh, uh, it, 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 it's a modeling error that occurs when a function is too closely fit to a limited set of data options. Overfitting the model generally takes the form of making an overly complex model to explain idiosyncrasies in the data under study. What the hell is this? Idiosyncrasy. A mode of behavior or way thought uh, peculiar to an individual. طيب. So the idea is in, um, in if you have a uh, يعني مثلا each device is is has a very specific um, has very specific uh, output, okay? But we don't care about one device is very specific output. We care about um, categorizing a device, صح? So, or, or, we want to authenticate a device by its sample, صح? But uh, we need to um, give the system many samples, صح? So um, there is some variations within the device samples, even though you know, they are unique to other device samples, but they are still too unique. Uh, uh, it, it, too, يعني each sample is unique even within a uh, Come a, a same device, okay? So if we if we learn each sample, uh, and then يعني if if we learn each sample, and then we classify by knowing each sample, uh, each sample behavior, we have overfitting. You know, if I give it a, an unseen sample, or if I give it a sample that is slightly different, I will have lots of errors. Uh, this is overfitting. It's when we have like the model is learning the samples exactly and not getting any errors in learning. But it's it it's not generalized. Yani it, it, it's not generalized to all the different samples that device this device can give. Uh, if if this device uh, gives a slightly different sample, it will classify it. Immediately as wrong. Even though, يعني مثلا, if if I get a sample, مثلا, star like here, it's still from the same device, but it doesn't classify it as such. Uh, 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 an optimized way to like a better way, يعني, this this this, they are all the same image, صح? But if we classify like this, we have a big problem. لانه we are learning specific samples. احنا, we don't want this. We want to learn. Uh, generally, what are the samples for this device? ف, this is better because uh, we learn the we learn that all this area gives us this device almost hundred percent of the time. Hana, we have high test error. Hana, we have low test error. But, but. Um, the difference between this and this is that um, يعني we have a few, a, a little bit of uh, mistakes. يعني but, but generally, the error is much minimized for this and this. Okay. We have this is underfitting. It has high bias. It has high training error, but high test error as well. 
so it's learning but it's not it's not learning very well and it's learning but there's lots of errors Hana, this is the optimum yani learning too specifically each sample will cause an error when we want to test it لانه التستنج سامبلز ار انون صح احنا 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 وي وي didnt learn the unknown samples the unseen ones ف as soon as we get an unseen one then it will be an error لانه it's learning exactly the patterns of the of the samples okay so احنا هلا في convolutional neural network actually this is a continuation صح هون deep neural networks convolutional neural networks is actually a type of deep network so generally used for image recognition so it's used for image images input or visual applications used in wireless systems as well and better at future feature extraction and feature interaction so here we have convolution layers then we have some max pooling layer, kernel, valid padding, max pooling, fully connected layer. Hi, it gives us the number of outputs, I guess, and the fully connected layer. Uh, when we have a rectif re rectified linear unit. Okay, so mm, uh, so this is the input, and this is the convolutional layer. This is the pooling layer, convolutional layer, pooling layer, fully connected layer, um, and this is the softmax. So I guess in the عشان نفهم أكتر لازم نقرأ the papers اللي منزلهم الدكتور لأنه يعني it's not really explained. بس اللي أنا فهمته إنه it cuts the images and starts to learn some stuff. يعني يعني مثلا if we see that this black dot في dot هون جنبيها يعني حنفهم إنه okay this is the a number two زي هيك um, for authentication here we have edge nodes step one is training the network by received what's a CSI And corresponding labels, labels at the um, EC server, the edge computing server. Then we authenticate the edge node. Then we retrain the deep neural network by the newly received CSIs. صح I forgot to mention something إنه الدكتور كان بيشرح لنا إنه كيف هذا بيتعلم actually إنه what happens is that we give the we give the network a picture of a banana okay and we tell it that this يعني we tell the system that we give it a picture of a banana a picture of a strawberry and a picture of a tomato and um, and we يعني we let this system uh, work in a way to fix the weights and then and then it fixes the weight يعني it works from back to the front مش the opposite way لانه when it's training uh, the first thing the weights are all random 
So how, how do we fix the weights to, to, and we train the model to fix the weights to actually give us the correct answer? So the, 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 the solution is to actually give it the answer and then adjust the weights accordingly. So we give it like a hundred or a thousand pictures of bananas and then it will learn what a banana looks like. Yani it gives weight for each feature. Yani مثلاً, a banana could be yellow, brown, or even green, صح? A strawberry could be maybe white if it's unripe, red, maybe. Yani there's features and each feature has a weight. So we want to classify them. Um, we use these weights for each feature. Okay, so deep learning uh, for radio frequency device fingerprinting in cognitive communication networks. We have uh, data collection. Uh, we have Zigbee devices. And for data processing, we use MATLAB. We use additive noise, synchronization, error signal generation, and data set generation and labeling. Um, so this is the input dimension. We want each layer of the CNN parameters, and let's read exponential linear unit, or its or its widely known name ELU, is a function that tend to cover converge cost to zero faster and produce more accurate results different to other activation functions elu has an extra alpha constant which should be positive should be a positive number it's very similar to the relu the rectified linear unit except negative inputs they are both in identity function form for non-negative inputs. On the other hand, ELU becomes smooth slowly until its <coughs> until its output equal to uh, negative alpha, whereas ReLU sharply smoothes. So this is just a comparison between ReLU and uh, ELU. ELU. So we have testing and we have implementation. So for testing, we uh, the remaining 10% of transmissions were split into segments of 1,024 uh, samples and given a password, uh, sorry, a forward pass through the network and the metric given in one was calculated for each transmission. For identification, these values were compared and the device with the maximum value was assigned as the class label. To verify these values uh, were thresholded to produce a rock curve yani rock, and precision recall curves for each verification network. Um, so to implement, we use this this laptop. Okay, uh, a rocky. It's like a curve that that shows the true positive and the uh, true negative, and the uh, false positive and the false negative. So the cl the higher it is and um, closer to it is the closer the graph is on the top left, uh, the higher the accuracy. So we have the a confusion matrix. And this would be the result. So here we have the actual device, like device one. And here we have the predicted device, like device one. And we are like predicting device one is one 85 times. But predicting device 1 is device 2, 2 times. 
predicting it as device 3 is one time and as device 7 is one time here we have 100 percent no, 100 times is, it's classified as device like correctly and five times as device four incorrectly but this is how to read the classification mat uh, confusion matrix then we have um, the accuracy for each SNR value so 40 decibels we have higher accuracy طيب. 